first tonight a revolutionary new way of treating kidney cancer. The procedure being pioneered at St James's Hospital in Leeds destroys tumours by using special needles to fire electrical pulses into the cancer cell walls. A 59-year-old man has become the first person of the United Kingdom to undergo the procedure, which gives doctors another option where standard treatments might not be suitable. Our health correspondent Jamie Coulson was given special access to watch the first procedure being carried out. If you don't like needles, you should look away now. Hello, good morning. Alan Spate has a genetic condition that means he develops tumours in different parts of his body. Today, the 59-year-old is about to become the first patient in the UK to undergo a new treatment to destroy a tumour in his kidney. The tumour is only small at the moment and it, if I leave it longer it will grow bigger and bigger, make things worse, I could lose my kidney. Slide. Conventional treatments that would either freeze the tumour or burn it aren't suitable because the location of Alan's tumour means nearby vessels and structures could be damaged, so doctors have decided to use a new procedure. The treatment works by positioning special needles known as nano knives in or around the tumour in the kidney. A series of electrical pulses are then fired between the needles, causing microscopic holes to be punched into the cancer cell walls. The tumour is destroyed without causing damage to surrounding blood vessels or structures. This is the needle we will place. This is the first needle. It's a blue needle. It's the main needle for the conductivity. Each needle has to be positioned by hand around the tumour with pinpoint accuracy. Once placed, it has to be checked and rechecked before the next needle can be inserted. We're talking about millimetre precision. We don't have centimetre so margin error, so we are talking about millimetre here. Now this procedure takes about an hour and while it has been used successfully in the past on some pancreatic and liver cancers, this is the first time it's been used on a kidney here in the UK. So I'm about to deliver the electrical energies uh, inside the patients. So the plan is now being made uh, according to the algorithm. So I'm going to press uh, the foot pedal to deliver the pulses. So the patient is now having treatment, you can see that when this happened, it actually punched nano holes, very tiny holes inside the um, cancer cells. And then um, this will de then leads to um, the destruction of the cancer cells. Just a short time later, and the procedure is complete. It went very well, better than expected. Hopefully Alan will recover tomorrow, and then he can go home tomorrow, and we'll check the treatment effect in a month's time. But I like to think that this hopefully will be successful. A few days later, Alan is back at home and already feeling much better. I'm a bit privileged, really, that now it's gone well. I hope other people will be able to have this opportunity as well. For Alan, the procedure should prolong the life of his kidney and hopefully provide other patients with another option for treatment. Jamie Coulson, BBC Look North. Gosh, that's incredible, isn't it? Some news in brief now and 